Hey Queens, welcome back to my channel. It is Monday morning and I wanted to bring you this video for the longest. Last week I brought you a Timo makeup video, right? And I told you that it was very, very, okay, let's say it was inspired by drugstore products or luxury products. Today I'm going to do half of my face is going to be Timu makeup and the other side is going to be original brand. Let me start with, I'm going to go in the order in which I'm going to use the product. So this is Timu. This is Cover FX. This is a Timu gel eyeliner. This is a Ramel gel eyeliner. This is Timu eyeshadows. This is Wet n Wild Always Naked palette. Very similar. This is Timu Big Bad Lashed. This is Revlon Big Bad Lash. This is Timu's Lake Green. This is Tear Tear Butter Bronzer by Lake Green. Timu. Butter Melt Bronzer, NYX. Butter Blush by Le Green, Timu. And Butter Melt Blush by NYX. And lastly, Beautiful Diary. Press Powder, Bare Minerals. So these are the products that I'm going to use today. One side is going to be Timu. One side is going to be original product. The two steps that I'm not going to use uh, from Timu are going to be my eyelashes and my lips. Only because I didn't get any... Well, actually, I got the lipstick from... The lipstick that I got from Timu was a gold one. So, no. I don't have any gold lipstick in my collection from any other brand. So, I'm not going to do that. What I am going to use is my Huda Beauty uh, lip liner in medium brown and my faux filler, also Huda Beauty. And my lashes are from Adele, the active wear. So if I find them online and everything that you see here, I will link it down below in the description box for you if you want to try anything. So, oh, and also I'm going to use one last thing. I'm going to use my e.l.f. my Instant Lift Brow Pencil uh, to fill in my brows because I did not get that from Timu either. So I think that we can get started after this. Oh, let me show you my outfit. So I think, I think you saw this before. And I'll show you, this is my little, I think I got this for like five bucks, this uh, t-shirt. And I got my juicy couture velour sweats i love these one because it has a hoodie like my sweater to match but also um they're high-waisted i've never liked like the low rise oh i can't stand them because i got a belly and you know that's a no i do want to tell you also what i'm drinking so i bought this kombucha with no sugar um, this is from the brand Remedy. Um, from Thrive Market. I bought two just to try it out because it doesn't have any sugar. You know, kombucha is really good for your gut health, but it does have a lot of sugar like the ones that you buy in the store. So, And that's why when I buy them in the store, I, I drink like maybe half today, half tomorrow, or another day. And that's my little treat. So instead of drinking soda, that's what I'll have. But I, but this one said no sugar. So I was like curious to try it. And it comes in. This is the orange uh, splash flavor. It is good. It's very refreshing. I didn't want to drink coffee because after this, I'm going to wash my face really well. Then I'm going to do my uh, Zumba. So I didn't want any caffeine in my system until, yeah, I didn't want any caffeine in my system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this kombucha while I get ready. 
and so we can get started. And I would wait a lifetime in tricky situations. I will be a lifeline. Nobody's meant to be fighting alone. That's why I'm taking you home. I never felt something like this before. I know. Keep coming back for you time after time. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I know I'll never leave you behind. No, baby, I got you. When you feel like falling, I'll be there to prove. Yeah, that baby, I got you. No matter the distance, no matter the hoops. Yeah, baby, I got you. When you feel like falling, I'll be there to prove. Yeah, that baby, I got you. No matter the distance, no matter the hoops. Yeah, baby, I got you.
me. So this is the final look. I let's get into it. Okay, let's rate the two concealers. I'm not gonna lie. This concealer is very, it's very creamy. It's easy to blend out throughout my eye because I used it as a primer. I used it as a eyeshadow primer, and so I liked it. I liked the the shade that I chose, the creaminess. I like it. I like it a lot. I liked it the first time, and I like it again. Now the cover FX. This one was easy to blend as well, but it is it dries really quick. I don't know if I mentioned that when I did my review, but this one dries really quick, so you have to work really fast to blend it out um, wherever you're gonna use it. I didn't use any concealer on my under my eyes because I didn't want to, but I did use them as my eyeshadow primers, and I like both. Which one performed better? this one the timu because this one dries too fast this one gives you a little bit more time to work with your eye the next product that i used was the eyeshadows timu wet and wild same colors this palette is almost identical this has more colors in the palette as opposed to this one but the idea is that it's the same shades let's get into this the Timo palette although it is very beautiful it is not quite pigmented i had to go in with like two shades to get this desired look here and the shimmer you know the like the last time i had to go in with my finger and just dab it in i didn't want to do like an exaggerated shimmer today only because i wanted to showcase everything today so I didn't want to focus too much on the shimmer of the eye, but it is beautiful. It is very natural and these are very buildable. So if you like that type of product, I don't have an issue with this. This I love. The Wet n Wild is very pigmented. I love this is one of my favorite palettes. Like I just don't want to get rid of it. it I know that it expires soon. So I have to check my expiration date, but I love it. And when I hit pan, I'm buying it again because it is really one of my favorite palettes. Like when you want to do like a more natural look, you want to just like do something quick and on the go. This is your palette. I just think it's beautiful. That's why it's called Always Naked. So this round, who won? Wet and Wild. Then I used the gel eyeliners this surprisingly was very easy to glide on although it's a chunky it looks like a lipstick right but it's a chunky eyeliner it is a uh, pointy so i was able to glide the eyeliner beautifully with no issues this was very 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 creamy it didn't tug at my skin once didn't pull it i love it it is true black my rimmel i also love this one but this one is a little drier than the timu one it is workable i did i i never have an issue with this but it does tug a little bit on my eyelid and so that's the only thing that i would say is that it's a little little drier than this one so in this round team one then i went in with the foundation so let me tell you what happened i absolutely loved the tier tier foundation uh the cushion foundation the last time i wore it when I reviewed it, but I must have thrown out the cushion because I can't find it anywhere. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere in sight. And I don't have extra cushions. Maybe I should get some extra cushions because I don't have any. And so I had to go in with my makeup blender because it's the closest thing to a cushion. I didn't want to do it with a brush because I wasn't going to do the tear tear with a brush. So I did it with the makeup blender and like the first time i loved it i love the tone i love the creaminess of it and then i went in with my tear tear and this one i kept the 
the cushion, the red cushion. So, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I liked it the last time, but I thought that it was too light. And it is a little light for me. It's a little, yeah, it's a, like a little pale yellow. So, today, I'm going to zoom in in a minute. But today, I noticed that this one goes on a lot smoother than the tear tear. I don't know if it's because it has more liquid. I don't know if this one has dried out already, which it shouldn't have. It's thicker. This foundation, this formula is thicker than the Timo one. And now I want to do a close-up because what I notice is that this, the tear to your side, is very choppy. This side, yeah, it looks nice. So let me zoom in. First, I'm going to do Timu, then I'm going to do Tear Tear so you can see the difference. Sorry about that. As you saw here, I mean, I'm looking in the mirror and it looks, it looks really, I don't know what the word is, pilly? I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but it looks clumpy. It looks sloppy. And I'm not sure if it's the cushion, the way I applied it. I don't know if it's the formula. So this round, team of one. However, this is very pricey. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the cushion, although it's designed to be used with the cushion. The next time I use this, I'm going to use a beauty blender or a makeup blender and see if it performs the same. I'm not happy with this at all. Then I went in with the mascara for my lower lashes. I love this one. I love Revlon. The last time I reviewed Timu, I said, "Oh my goodness, this is a this is a wannabe." Ha ha ha! You know, I don't like the little the little applicator. The wand is too small. Let me tell you, this is a great mascara. I'm looking at my lashes, and I feel like this one performed way better than the Revlon. Although I love this one, this has been my favorite for months because. The applicator is long. It's not a dry formula. It is a very rich black. I don't know. These are going toe to toe, but this one is taking the lead. This round, Timu wins. Then I went in with the bronzers. So this is another uh, one shade is darker than the next episode, like my foundation. And for this one, I used my bronzer brush and for NYX I used the NYX bronzer brush. The Timu bronzer is beautiful because it looks like I have nothing on and it's just a natural glow. The NYX is a little darker but it also has a little I want to say maybe red undertone and it does look a little i mean yes it's supposed to be dark because the tone is darker but it it looks like it doesn't look golden anymore it looks a little not pink but like it has like a little red undertone like the way i see it on the on the mirror but it's beautiful i never returned it remember i said i was gonna get a lighter shade i never went back to get it because i lost the receipt so this round team of one and for my blush. The last time I reviewed the Timu blush, I did, I applied too much. Remember, I was like, oh my goodness, it took me forever to blend it out. So I said that the next time I would use it, I would use a small fluffy, uh, I would use a small fluffy brush and I would just dab it. And that's what I did. That's exactly what I did. And it gave me the color that I wanted. Very subtle, very clean, and 
demure. Love it. For the NYX Buttermelt Blush, I used the NYX Blush Brush. And I also dabbed it and I placed it here. This color, what I find is that this color has some shimmer in it. This doesn't. So this has like, I don't know, it looks like it has highlighter built in. This one doesn't. Oh, maybe it does. Yeah, maybe it does. Well, I don't know. I see it more here than here. Maybe on camera it looks different. But I love both formulas. Both both formulas are beautiful. This round, Timo. I love Timo. And then obviously you already saw I used my not from this collection, not from the imitation products, but I got the Elf Instant Lift Brow pencil. And I think this is a uh, dark brown. And then I used my Huda Beauty medium brown lip liner. Oh, and let me tell you about this. So I try to sharpen it, right? And look how it looks. You know, a lot of times I, sometimes I don't read labels. Because I just think that I know it all. Yeah, sometimes I think I know it all. And... How to beauty if you're watching, which you're probably not because you're a very busy, busy woman. But why did I not read that this pencil? Let me read to you what the the real the name of this lip liner is called. This is called the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 in warm brown. So this these particular lip uh, liners, you I thought you had to sharpen them to get more product. Mm -mm. You don't have to sharpen them because you see this little thing, you twist it up and you get more it goes up. You see? So I totally messed up the tip of my lip liner. And that's what I get for not reading the directions. But you know what? I'm not going to do it tomorrow. Though. I have another one there. I, as a matter of fact, I have to look for it because I know that I, I can't find that in my collection. And I know I didn't get rid of it. It must be somewhere else in my, between my brushes or something. So I got to look for it. But it's another one. And it's a darker brown, which I love. So I'm not going to mess that one up. And... Um, I may order another one of these because this has really been my favorite look. I love this lip liner. This lip liner is everything. Everything. these both and as you can tell so this one is uh like a this is like a banana tone and this is a f I applied it with a fluffy brush this side is Timo beautiful diary and this side is bare minerals which side do I like Timo because I don't look like I have anything on here you can tell that I have some white or it looks brighter and it makes my under eye look actually I think well I have panda eyes today but this side looks a little 
awkward to me. I'm looking in the mirror and I just, I don't like it. Maybe on camera it looks different, but um, I'm looking in, in the mirror and I like this side better. So for me, for me, I could be wrong and you can tell me, Timu won this round. So, queens, I am so happy that I got to try all these products. Now I know what to get rid of and what I can keep. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this uh, whole competition look. I see you in the next one.